you think it was the right call to uh, to ground to, to issue this nationwide system grounding this morning? Well, before I answer that question, let's let's reassure our passengers that uh, uh, safety was was never uh, a, a major factor in this. And 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 what happened, um, as I mentioned, was extraordinary, uh, just an anomaly in my my opinion. Um, but you know, at this point, um, it, it's just. It's incredible that this actually had to shut down the system. But the reason for this, the, the, these are informational um, notifications. So we've been talking about this um, throughout the uh, the morning and the, and the afternoon. But it's called a NOTAM, which is notice now to airmen, uh, or excuse me, notice to uh, air uh, air missions. And essentially, it's it's information about equipment that that doesn't work. Um, or, or is inoperative for a temporary period of time, approaches that have uh, higher minimums because of approach light systems that don't work, sure. uh, airspace issues, so on and so forth. Sure. So you're saying these are important updates, but it wasn't, you know, a life-threatening situation, which, again, raises the question of was this nationwide halt necessary? Um, I believe it was because this is a critical part uh, in, a, in a pilot's uh, pre-flight um, uh, notebook, per se, before they start out on uh, their mission. Um, it, it's, it's very important to, to read what might affect their particular flight, whether it be uh, airspace issues, sp uh, uh, problems on the ground, like a taxiway closed, a runway closed, an approach system closed. That's very important, and it's an FAA requirement. It's, it's yeah. the pilot's responsibility to do that. I mean, a closed runway to me sounds like it could have been a, a life and health issue. Certainly, if you realize that. To, but, but let me just ask you this: Plenty of people, less are saying, it, was this an attack of some kind? A hack? A, a, could it have been a, a coordinated effort to target a system like this? From your point of view, would that make sense? Is that a reasonable thing to 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 ask about? Well, it, it, it's a it's a great concern, but I mean, relatively speaking, the the NOTAM system that apparently closed down air traffic control is a very minute part of that system. So, if if it was going to be some sort of cyber attack per se, it, I think it would have been on a much broader scale, having to do with uh, controlling aircraft directly. Right. Although it's shown, why make a, a big effort if you could make a small one with the same effect? Uh, tr true, but I, I I have my doubts. I really feel. Uh, just from a gut that this was a this was a computer glitch. We hope that regardless, there's a lot of uh, investment poured in to modernize these systems. We've spoken in the past about the need to update, for instance, the radar. There's new uh, technology available, but our systems are a little bit behind. Does this explore a, uh, expose a larger weakness? And as a pilot yourself, what do you think need to be the most important steps? Well, you bring up a good point. I mean, we we have the next gen system installed, but we're still we're still doing that in coordination with old fashioned radar systems, which I, I don't see that going away. You know, in the in the very near future, but I, it's it's unrelated to what happened today, um, for the most part. You know, could it be updated? Honestly, we, we what we need is is redundant systems. So if that kind of thing fails. Do we have a system in place, a protocol in place, albeit manual or, um, you know, some other computer program that can take over and, uh, and prevent this from happening? Do we real quickly, and this would obviously be more of direct concern to airlines and to their investors, do we need a system that compensates passengers better for these kinds of cancellations and delays, uh, whether caused by the airline themselves, by the air control systems, as they feel like they're becoming more frequent, uh, what, should, what do we need to do here? Well, I mean, in this particular case, you're, you're, you're sort of uh, operating in the system at your own risk. Unfortunately, as, as pilots and as, as airlines, um, we have only one choice, and that's our air traffic control system. And, and in this particular case, obviously, it wasn't the fault of the, of the airlines. Uh, if it is, then indeed, um, the reaction should be for the airline to to compensate passengers, um, you know, with regards to hotels and expenses and so on and so forth. And I think uh, our Secretary of Transportation is, is pushing heavily in that direction. I, I would think so. I will leave it there for now, Les. Thanks for your time and expertise. My pleasure. Les Abend.